I'm Nick with Finishing Technologies and we're here at a customer location where we just finished a powder system and wanted to take you on a little journey of how this comes about and what we've accomplished here. Uh, our system is designed from an original meeting we had with the customer at six foot a minute uh, with an expansion to future of 10 foot a minute. Uh, we're running a three-stage wash system from GAT, General Automated Transfer. Uh, in the customer discussion during the opening meetings, we came up with some scenarios where their part mix would change a little bit. So we'd go from a three by two and a half part window to a three by three uh, part open size. So we sized everything with the four by four openings. Uh, we're walking along the load section, heading to the washer. Running a web conveyor drive, Unibuilt. Runs right off of a drive, cat drive, with the take up, and it heads into the wash machine. So if you'll notice, this is a three stage washer. It has a 140 degree hot water phosphatizer, and then it goes to a clean water rinse, and it trails off to a rinse and seal. That system works pretty well for their materials. They have uh, fairly clean metal going in. So we're not very worried about contamination really here. We have to my right, as it leaves the washer, it heads right into a dry off oven. Uh, the customer's footprint was a little small, so we had to change some things and shrink up the footprint a little bit. With the dry off combo oven with the Cure, we can utilize the 3.2 million BTU burner and we can get the kind of the energy efficiency of a much larger oven in a smaller footprint. So after it leaves the dry off, it heads off into our powder system, which is this way. And we're at the powder side. So as it leaves the dry off oven, it comes around and hits our light curtain. Our light curtain is designed to detect only part profile and size. It doesn't do any dynamic contouring which is an option, but this customer did not require it. We have a low profile booth because the customer wanted a low part hang. So we went with this booth. We landed on uh, a six gun automatic package, three on each side with reciprocators. We have fire detection, collectors, and multicolor modules. Uh, we have a couple options to do more um, color change, better, more efficient automation. But in this case, the roll-on style collectors was fine for them. We have two manual guns. So as the part goes through the booth and gets coated automatically, if there's a Faraday issue or some sort of touch-up necessary, we've got two manual porches that can handle that. As the part leaves the system, it goes through the cure oven, which again comboed with the dry-off and cure, goes through there, time and temperature, leaves the part, at a six foot to 10 foot a minute, whatever the customer desires. So here we are at the exit of the oven where the part would leave and wrap around and hit the cool down line. The cool down line then leads to an offload where an operator pulls off the part and then stacks it. And that's the complete cycle here. So the, the unload and load are effectively in the same spots. Uh, the load section's a little bit on the other side of the washer. Um, and that's the whole thing for the powder system. Now I can take you over to the fun part where the color change happens. Here we've got the CM40 from GEMA and the A2 cabinet. This is designed to control the automation for the recips and for our entire powder system that handles all the logistics for it and the airflow. The powder comes from a fresh feed system. This is the 2P vibratory and heads over to a 100 pound hopper with a vibratory sieve to add to the reclaim section of this package. So we have a virgin powder and we have a reclaim for each color that they have over here with one spray to waste. Well, that's it. Thanks for taking the tour with us. I want to let you guys know that you have an opportunity for a retrofit or you see something like this in your future with a brand new system. Give us a call, number on your screen. We'd appreciate talking to you. Thanks guys. Have a good day.